Simon McIrwin. The man's been sentenced to life imprisonment for nine offences, including rape in Oxfordshire. 42-year-old Kathleen Harhotte, who doesn't have a permanent address, was arrested on the 21st of September last year and charged two days after. A jury of Oxford Crown Court unanimously found him guilty today for offences including three counts of rape, one count of burglary and one count of exposing himself. A spokesperson from Force CID in Oxford says he hopes today's life sentence brings a sense of justice to the victims. David Cameron says travel advice for UK citizens is being reassessed after Saturday's plane crash in Egypt. The Russian airline that was operating the Airbus A321 is claiming there was some kind of impact in midair, but authorities in Moscow say it's too early to reach any conclusions. Cash from a national charity will help Oxford experts trial video conferencing in a bid to improve care for mental health patients. The Health Foundation splitting £1.5 million between 21 projects in the UK. One of the benefits of telepsychiatry, trialled by a team from Oxford Health NHS Foundation Trust, will be follow-up appointments using the patient's own phone, tablet or computer. It's expected to result in quicker discharge processes and less travelling for staff. Jack Sport with Hartwell Supercentre. Grab a 65-plate delivery mileage, say it, by Beta from under a grand. England Rugby Union International Sam Burgess has reported back for training at Bath. He's been heavily linked with a return to rugby league and went on holiday to Spain to think about his future in the 15-man game. Jack Weather with Ridgeway. Test drive the new Jaguar XF and experience the thrill at Ridgeway Jaguar on Cumber Hill. Staying grey and misty tonight. Temperatures around 9 degrees. Very grey and misty tomorrow morning. Chances of rain later on in the day. Highs of 13 and lows of 12.